All right, greetings everyone. Welcome to another stream, a special stream. Greetings everyone in the chat already. Uh, it is I, Fevron, uh, once again. And uh, we have a special stream today for a number of reasons. Uh, the first one, uh, I'm sure people will notice, is that I don't have my usual sidekick with me. Uh, Bugs is, is not here, but um, uh, we have a new uh, member joining us on my uh we're not in together anymore on this side, I guess. So, <laughs> Zoltron. Exciting. Yeah, greetings. Uh, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the audience, who you are, uh, what you do at the company? Hey, guys. Uh, my name is uh, Zoltron. Uh, I'm essentially a, a, I'm director of developer relations uh, at Yahaha. So, I'll be ensuring that you guys have the best experience uh, on uh, using uh, all the tools that are available uh, in Yahaha itself. So, uh, really glad to be here on the stream. So, uh, thanks for having me here as well. Yeah, yeah, super excited. It's always, I'm sure it's nice for the uh, the users to see more than just myself and Bugs all the time. So having <laughs> having new people join is always good. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, welcome. Uh, it's, it's super exciting. Uh, for all of you that, you know, uh, that are in the community, you will see Zoltron a lot uh, and probably be uh, chatting uh, with, uh, like in the Discord and stuff like that. So, you know, um, keep an eye out. And uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, why are we here today? So this is uh, not our usual stream that we do. Today we're actually doing the Yahaha First uh, Game Jam, uh, which is really exciting. And um, and uh, basically we had a, a game jam on itch uh, over the last number of weeks and uh, challenging people to enter in with their games based around the theme first. And uh, we had some uh, pretty interesting uh, entries. I know you had a chance to play some of them. Um, and uh, there's uh, there's there's some like really really uh, interesting uh, entries, and of course we have prizes to be giving away. Uh, we had if I just pull it up real quick. So yeah, so like third place prize two hundred dollars. The second place prize was five hundred, and then first place is going to be taking away eight hundred dollars. Uh, so I'm sure everyone's excited to uh, see who those entries are. I'm excited. I can't wait to play these games. It's gonna uh, be yeah, I know you haven't played like all of them. So you're going to be first time experiencing some of these, mm. which is going to be great. Um, I have played all of them. Uh, so I can cheat in some of them. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Challenge accepted. And um, but yeah, that's uh, yeah, greetings to everyone that's in the chat already. It's nice to have you all here. Uh, so the, basically what we're going to do is we're going to play through the entries. We'll play through a handful of them first, and then we'll do the announcement of the winners at the end. So third place, second place, first place. Um, so before then, we're going to be playing all the other entries. Uh, so let's get ready to jump into the first one. And uh, we can join it now together and hopefully end that's up in cool. the same lobby. And uh, of course, we have the wonderful Bogs, who usually is with me in the chat right now, and she will be sharing these game entries uh, to you if you want to check them out and play yourself as well. So don't forget to do that. And uh, I believe I'm in. I'm in. Yes. I'm in too. And you're in too. Excellent. Amazing. After a good start. Um, so yeah, this first entry uh, it is called "Kill the Golup." And uh, it is by Armani with extra E's on the end. Um, so yeah, this uh, this game entry has a, this is actually something I was excited to talk about because this is something we don't get to actually see too often in the games. Um, and uh, this just we are back in in oh we can actually uh, high five. There we go. You can uh, maybe not I, even hang in. Yes. Oh no! High five. There we go. There we go. Nice. Um, <laughs> so basically, one of the things that, that was really interesting about this that I wanted to showcase that we don't see too often in the game is an actual leveling system. Um, very few people have actually incorporated these into their games. Um, and of course, you know, you can see here that instead of my name above, I have a, a little level one. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and speak to Fred here. Uh, and basically, uh, the whole idea of this game was that the yellow monster, the Golup, who we can see wandering around over here in a little bit, has been uh, destroying the town. And uh, we basically need to help uh, stop. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that is by speaking to Dave over here. What's up, Dave? What's happening, Dave? 
I mean, Dave, Dave's taller and stronger looking than us, so I don't know why we're mm. in the fighting, but, you know. Uh, so basically, what we need to do is actually fight these ghosts. And, ta-da, we will level up and get stronger. And this is something we don't see that often in some of our games. Um, and if we take the big crystal, level six. Now, the interesting Amazing. thing as well is that if we go fight the, the Golub, uh, you'll see that I got absolutely slapped. Um, oh, you're about to die. I'm yeah. So the Golub is actually <laughs> quite strong. Uh, and I think he's coming for you now. So you might want to... Running, man. I'm running. <laughs> and um, so basically, I've, it's really interesting that there is this leveling mechanic in the game. Um the uh the one thing the, the only suggestion that i would sort of give is that there aren't too many like ghosts in the level oh no slaughtered by the monster one That's, punch one punch one punch gall um so yeah like uh, the one thing like i would maybe suggest about the game is that there there is very little ghosts you know so especially if you're playing with other people it might take quite a while to level high enough to become strong enough to kill the gallop um so like maybe just you know some some tweaks to like how quickly you level or gallop's uh, strength uh i think overall. maybe offering a little bit more pickups to uh, level up something like that too quite, quite yeah nice yeah well. and uh basically like you know just improve like the system's great it's just a matter of you know uh, tweaking it a little bit now maybe adding more can we fight Maybe there's PvP here. Oh yeah, there is. Yes, oh. there is. I wonder, did oh, I level up? No. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> okay, that's cool. But I didn't level up though. That's the problem. So it, it would have been cool if I leveled up uh, off of uh, Battle you know, right? as well. It, 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 it's about who levels up first, basically, right? Right, right. Uh, <laughs> the quicker you level, the, the yeah. stronger you get. The stronger you get, the more you can uh, basically. Exactly. Uh, so yeah. everybody. yeah, so like if there were like more ghosts because, you know, the, us just battling around over these three ghosts, uh, you know, it, it'll take a while because like once you hit that level six, it it's it's kind of slow. Um, you know what would be interesting as well, actually, you, you see how these pickups appearing here? It would be mm -hmm. kind of cool if you make it more difficult to get those pickups so people actually, you know, put right. more effort to actually get those pickups. Yeah, Therefore, like yeah, yeah. You know, you work for it, and everyone's maybe trying to push each other off, or exactly, you know, has to go yeah. for some sort of obstacle. Because those give you loads of XP. Right, right. Lot, yeah, yeah, so like if you had to like climb up on things to get to them, like you know, mm, uh, yeah, up on here or something. Yeah. Actually. So like, uh, you know, the concept's great. Like I said, I'm super happy to see an actual leveling system uh, in uh, the actual game uh, because it's not. Um, yeah, uh, so, yeah, Maester Murloc says, like, one of the reasons I do not use leveling much is that setting it up is a little bit cumbersome, you know? So it, it is a little bit of a challenge. Um, you know, oh, I'm level one all of a sudden. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so when I died, actually, this is kind of cool. When I died... Oh, I recess your level. <laughs> yeah, and you took all mine. That's kind of cool as well. So you see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of, like, really interesting mechanics and stuff uh, that have been uh, added to the game. Uh it's not I'm just a question of like yeah, good luck I, it's i don't think it's enough <laughs> yeah oh no <laughs> so yeah like little I'll tweaks uh... of the boss as well would be nice as well to see um and uh you know and like uh, and like scatter the ghosts around scatter the 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 collectibles around you know uh and stuff like that would be cool but overall the the idea is uh, is pretty cool um mm. And uh, he's coming for me, and I can't fight him. I, I sort of like the setting as well. It's quite interesting, but yeah, definitely adding maybe some sort of obstacles would be really, really yeah more uh, more engaging in some sense because then you, you 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 definitely work for it, and like it's industrial sector, so yeah, having some barrels to jump over or uh, yeah. you know, and I think it's and, um, like and I, I do think it makes it interesting the fact that like if we fight each other, you can steal levels from another player. So it has not just a PVE but a PVP element to it. Um, Mm. Which is kind of cool. So you know, it's like a half battle royale type uh, type game. So, but yeah, it, pretty cool. Um, like I said, you know, people can go in and experiment with that um, and check it out. And like we said, you know, just some tweaks on the the leveling system and the power of the boss and stuff. Scatter some stuff around, and I think uh, you know that'd be a it'd be a pretty cool entry. Um, 
so yeah, like I, I said, like there is a link in the chat uh, that Bugs has shared. If you people want to go check it out, make sure you do so. So let's get into game number two and we check it out. Okay, let's go. Um, so this game is called uh, Be the First to Survive the Zombies. And it is by Armani as well. So two entries from uh, Armani. And uh, I like the setting. That's, uh, that's quite neat. So yeah, so this is, um, what's really interesting about this one is this is uh, modified from one of our templates. Um, so that's one of the nice things about Yahaha is that you don't have to build like a lot of stuff from scratch, you know? You can sort mm -hmm. of build game modes upon um, uh, some places that already have assets in there and you can just move them around and, and stuff. And uh, with this one, uh, so we have uh, John here. Uh, so basically the story with John is that there is a, I mean, a plane crash and uh, zombies have appeared and we have to sort of survive. Um, and it's kind of, like, I will say that it's kind of similar to the previous game that Armony had built that um, uh, I think, so th th that's another uh, kind of issue there. So like we've killed a, a zombie each, so it hasn't triggered like the, the quest completion kind of thing. Um, okay. And, uh, but the one thing is like, once you sort of kill those two zombies, there is like a little, uh, platform over here, which is going to take us upstairs. Bye-bye. Oh, you just left me. Yeah. I think it'll come back. I hope it'll come back down. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you'll just be, uh... you have ascended to the heaven. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't call it heavens because unfortunately up here, there is a lot more zombies. Um, oh no, actually, never mind. I'm. <laughs> I fell off the edge, so I'm going to have to try again. Okay, that, there's a lot more enemies here. Yeah, there's a lot more How enemies. How did you get to them? I'm, I'm, so, oh, over... Okay, uh, get to them. Uh, I wonder if it's going to come back. Like oh. Battle Royale right here. <laughs> In the ring. I mean, I yeah, <laughs> you've you done the same thing i done. <laughs> so, um... Fail. So the interesting thing about the, the zombies when we do get up there is um, it's kind of like the same uh, thing as the last game where all the zombies sort of start charging you at once kind of thing uh, and you kind of can't survive too well. So really all that it sort of needs is some like tweaking. Hey, we're together, nice. Uh, so all it needs is like sort of some tweaking. Uh, maybe it'll be better that there's multiple of us this time. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. And let's try not fall this time. Oh my oh, god, no, I'm so uh, bad at this. You, you fell off, so it, it bugged me back to the, the start. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Bugs has a challenger for uh, platforming. Um, <clears throat> all right, and, uh, and of course the chat is talking about pizza again, and uh, I really want pizza. Um, so I've made it. Um, I can wait and see if uh, the platform is coming back to you. But basically, like, these zombies are, um, they're kind of strong. And multiple always come at once. So it's really sort of difficult to fight them. Um, maybe multiplayer will help it a little maybe, bit. But... Maybe we have to kite them, you know. Uh, yeah. Double hits and go to level one, right? Yeah, the problem, uh, one of the problems a little bit is that... Uh, the animation, so if we go to punch, the animation kind of uh, gets interrupted if they hit us. Um, hey, there we go. I made it. Or maybe I can distract them and you can punch yeah, them. Yeah, you distract them and yeah. I'll, I'll just go crazy at one of them. Maybe, like, this is how we level, oh. right? Uh, well, I don't think there is, this is the, the interesting thing. I don't think there's a leveling one in this one like there was in the last one. So oh, You're about to die. Yeah, I'm Good. real low. I keep distracting them. It's working. Yeah. And now facing me. Yeah. So like this is another thing where like just some tweaks uh, to the health and the attack power uh, would be. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I'm really dead. <laughs> and like in this one, there's like no heal option like there was in the last one. Um... It would be kind of cool if you like kill one zombie, level up, and your health goes goes back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So like, you know, it's basically like the idea of this one is just a survival type thing, you know? Yeah. Um, 
but of course super you know, hardcore yeah it really is and uh <laughs> and i'm dead so you know again some improvements uh basically just give it a little tweak on the 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 health of the players maybe on the zombies as well um and then of course you know uh, maybe add like a sort of leveling up system like like uh, armony done in the previous one you know where if you level up you get a little stronger uh and things mm -hmm. like that um but overall good attempt like i said just some tweaks again to the uh the characters and uh and and that's it really i think um so yeah awesome. Do uh and let's jump so yeah unfortunately so for people asking um uh about is there any music or sound effects in some of the games no uh there is sound effects like punching but there's no uh music in that particular one so mm -hmm. you'll hear some uh, in some games uh and some and not in others okay uh on to the next one which we have by harilza and it is three season marathon so let's jump into that one let's go and um basically the uh, description of this one is gameplay in a marathon racing through three seasons um I like that. That sounds that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, not going to happen, Ferdy. That it most definitely is not going to happen. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so we are in. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, I, be, I guess. Uh, oh, so we're actually going to race against each other. There can only be mm -hmm. one winner this time. Oh my goodness. I'm going. Yeah. You're, Bye. Yeah, you're you're gone. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, this season is like summer. Yeah, like a springy spring. summer type thing. Yeah. All right, I see winter. Yeah. Okay. Transition into a little wintry one. I'm gonna cut some corners. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Whoa. Nope. 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 Okay, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's kind of cool. That was fun. Uh, that, 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 that was kind of unexpected. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. Uh, come on, straight. There we go. Okay. Okay, then there is actually uh, an ocean thing. <laughs> oh, like wait, wait. Lake. Are wait. we supposed to jump into that? I'm not sure. Are we just going for it? Yes. I mean, you, you cheated there. You just like kind of went through the I did the not mountain. cheat. I did not cheat. I, I, you just like appeared through the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, no. it, it's the years of, of playing FPS games. It's just, yeah. just pure, <laughs> pure skill there. Pure I mean, tracking you, skill. You always got to have a cheese strat, so you know. <laughs> All right, and I get well. Maybe this is the summer one because you know you got to swim during the the lake. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Uh, yeah. You know what I smell? I smell victory. Uh, this yes. Is. <laughs> so yeah so that's a, so this is a this is a very simple but very interesting one you know mm. like um like i like the idea of the the three different se seasons but of course when you get into the winter one there's a the slippery ice and you're just like all over the show um i i like i like the fact that there's these seasons it would be quite cool to maybe see a bit of particle effects maybe on yes. these seasons like uh some leaves or like uh snowflakes or something like that that yeah. maybe add a little bit more of that magical feeling. Uh, yeah. I really like that game mechanic of sliding. Uh, maybe tweaking a little bit on the like mud might be a bit slower, mm -hmm. uh, where where the uh, right. ice might be a lot more faster, like it was. Yeah, uh, that'd be quite cool. And also, I like the fact that that uh, the UI design they thought about uh, including with Starbound. That's pretty yeah, cool. The, uh, yeah, the uh, yeah, and it's like um, you know, like maybe if you want to make it like even more kind of marathony, you know maybe some obstacles to jump over or go through mm. or stuff like that you know because like say for example this starting area it's you know snowballs like falling down from the sides or something like right, that right well. exactly yeah or and like, uh, you know trees coming down yeah yeah because this one's like it's just a sort of open pass so like yeah if there was like some like kind of obstacles or some animals or something mm. in the way kind of thing you know would be uh would be kind of cool but you know, and the, the great thing about these kind of things is that you can make like many, many different kind. You just like reshape the course, uh, so you can do mm. many different versions of this uh, kind of yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. The, the, um, the idea is quite simple, but it's yeah. quite effective, I think. There we go. But yeah, I agree with you in in the case of the mud. Like, I think slower 
would make yeah. more sense for that, you know. Um, you know what? When I'm playing this, I'm just keep thinking in my mind Indiana Jones, you know, lost treasure, <laughs> just right. like yeah, yeah. things rolling down, and you know, I'm trying to avoid these things. Am I beating you again? No, oh, no, you're not even <laughs> close this time. Uh, where are you? I don't even know where you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> but yeah, like like I said, nice level. Just a couple of obstacles and stuff like that. Maybe change the mod to slow. Some effects. Um, you know, you can you can obviously use like the node graph system to you know trigger lots of like really fun things that could happen and stuff. Um, but yeah. How are you gaining on me? How are you gaining on me? I I kind uh, of uh, what? Yeah. Oh no. Is is there is there swim skills? No. Oh my god. I think uh, well what really oh won me that was the uh, the ice one. I managed to like power around the corner really quickly, oh, so that okay. got me ahead. Uh, so I, th I think that's why I managed to win. But yeah, so that's that's really cool. Um, like I said, game in the chat for people that want to check it out. Uh, Harrell's uh, Three Seasons Marathon and. Uh, yeah, pretty fun. And that'll be definitely fun with, like, if you do the full six people uh, in the thing as well. Um, you, you know, the best thing about the Game Jam games is that, you know, once you actually created these ideas, you can even, even you know, uh, if you win or you don't win, doesn't really matter. You can just come back and actually improve these games 100%. even more. And, yep. and that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing that... Um, uh, that I always say to people, you know, like, don't think that that has to be the end of it. You know, you can just keep yeah. building upon it, you know, and expanding it out and, and creating a whole uh, collection of games that can even interlink with each other. Uh, if People know how to do that. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely build upon and improve uh, things as well. So, um, so, yeah, let's jump into the next one. This is by uh, Gerald Thing Burke, and it's called Logistics Delivery Service. Um, now, I, I will say that this game actually did get uh, some love. So we have a, basically a team that judges uh, the games and stuff like that and, and, you know, sort of award the points and stuff as to uh, who's going to win. And uh, this game actually did get some votes uh, due to the fact that uh, some of the people find the dialogue to be incredibly interesting. Um, so I think we're in different lobbies. I think we're in so, different lobbies yeah. right now. Because I think it is supposed to be more a single player kind of experience. That's fine. Um, so yeah, really interesting that, you know, the phone rings right away, you pick it up. And basically, um, there's a lot of story here to go through. Um, basically, it's, the idea is our first job. We're their first employee. And now it's time to do our first delivery. And the order is to be picked up at the Queen's Pub. And you'll bring it to customer number one. And then, of course, of course, we ask, you know, what's their address? Because you need an address to make a delivery. That, that makes sense to me. Um, but that's where the logistics difference actually comes in. Our customers simply place their customer number on their door, and it's your job to find them. Good luck. So, so basically, we're Almost not... Almost like a pizza delivery service right here. Yeah, it's, and it, but it's like, you know, it's like, who am I delivering it to? And they're like, eh, you figure it out. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So if we basically pick up um, uh, the name on the order is customer number one. Uh, it's not a number name, but that's all we have. And uh, I like the fact that the person giving us the parcel is like, hey, if it's wrong, that's on you. So we have to do a huh. good job here. Um, what is interesting, is this one of the games that you have played? No, I haven't actually played this. This is completely new to me. So... I did notice something um, that I can help people out with if they are interested in knowing uh, who exactly is the right person to deliver to. Um, so basically, fired on the first day. Yeah, pro I probably will be fired on the first day, Doku, except for the fact that I did work out a little... Um, I just delivered a squirrel juice. Amazing. A squirrel juice, yeah. Oh yeah, so you're doing it actually in different order uh, way than I that I do. That's interesting. So That's I have a different of delivery. The game, you can have different paths. So yeah, interesting. So the the thing that I discovered is like obviously when you get close to the uh, person, it'll say customer number and then like three, two, one, whatever it is. However, the doors themselves, 
maybe I'm just stupid and it took me too long to figure this out. <laughs> but each of the doors actually have the number on it as well. So you can see it from quite a bit away if you can read it well enough. So That's I can, a really good tip. Yeah, I, so I can I see in the distance. Just not is that. Yeah, so like you can actually see uh, from far enough away which one. Um, so you don't like waste a lot of time like running around uh, trying to like find things. Um, although I still need to find my first customer. I've just been too busy chatting. Um, I love the creative writing in this. <laughs> so yeah, the, yeah, the writing is the, the thing. Like I know Bugs uh, in the chat just mentioned, I really enjoyed the, uh, the writing as well. Um, so it's like, uh, I like the, and there's also like one or two little hidden things as well, which is interesting. So the customer number one that I've just delivered to, you know, there's been a bunch, there's been some weird noises around the corner and I don't like leaving the apartment much. Uh, well, time to get back to the phones and then no need. She has the next order. We're going to take the order and deliver to the pharmacy. Now, what's interesting about what they said, I'm actually just going to make sure that there isn't signed in here. Yes, there definitely should be signed. Um, so the customer did mention about around the corner. So if we do go around the corner, there's some like, some really weird stuff going on, like really interesting stuff. I'm curious. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So like some bl bloody hand prints. And if we, oh no, I'm, I'm, I, I, I glitched myself. Oh no. Okay. I messed with the piano too much. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, there's like really interesting little weird things going on, um, which make Easter no eggs. sense. Little, little yeah. Easter eggs. And I also forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, the pharmacist, that's what I had to do. So I know where all these are, so it kind of is useful. Hello, pharmacist. Uh, picking up an order for customer two, and, uh, and that's it. I like the fact that I'm, hey, I'm here to pick up a delivery. And then he's like, yeah, sure, one minute. And then you wait and he's like, oh yeah, sorry, we're closed for lunch. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I like, I, I need the, the package. Uh, Real life right there. Oh, 100%. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting, it's a very simple kind of game, um, but really sort of amusing. Like I said, the, the thing that uh, got it some votes from the team was the fact that it had some really fun, interesting uh, dialogue, um, which all can really make a game sometimes as well. Yep, yep, certainly. Yeah, so we, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to skip that because this is a game that people should experience so that they can enjoy the dialogue themselves rather than be purely reading it to them. Um, so yeah, the link is in the description. Like we said, that is Gerald Thing Burke and the Logistics Delivery Service. Um, I can't really think of too much to improve upon it. You know, the dialogue's fun. It's a simple little concept of do some deliveries and, and things like that. You know, maybe just... Uh, you could further expand upon it, make more deliveries, maybe make, um, there's a couple of the customers like right directly in one spot. So maybe like make little alleyways or something mm. uh, or something like that, you know? Um, but overall, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, there's not too much I would say to improve upon uh, for that. All right. So let, I think this next one, uh, yeah. This is one you really enjoy playing. Yeah, I so, like that. So yeah, I want to let you uh, talk about this. So let's jump into it. Um, this one is called uh, Chroma Point, and it is by Skull Hunter. Um, so yeah, you you really enjoyed uh, this one. Uh, I actually pe played it multiple times just because I was trying to beat it. <laughs> so uh, I, I did succeed. So uh, that's yeah. good then. Uh, okay, uh, game is loaded and we're together. Perfect. Amazing. Um, yeah, so I, I like this game for the fact that obviously um, it's very colorful. Um, the design of it. Uh, I also think the, the challenges are quite satisfying, so <laughs> from the sort of gameplay mechanics. Um, but let's play it. As we go, you'll see. Okay. Oh, so yeah, so this is uh, something, yeah, since uh, this is your first time joining us, mm. um, you probably don't know about the crabs. <laughs> so, no, I so, do not know about the crabs. So when we first started these like events, making uh, games and stuff like that, um, someone made a, a game full of crabs, just 
Okay. Non, just crabs everywhere. And it just became a thing in the community. So it's almost like you can't play a game now without seeing a, a crab somewhere. Right. So always keep an eye out for <laughs> for crabs somewhere. Yeah, that's, that's like an internal joke right there. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. I heard that. <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh, a really okay. nice sort of platformer. I think, you know, the challenges are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh... It can be challenging as well, so... Yeah, and, and that this is one thing that I, I always keep saying to people to do, which is really important. Uh, unless you're, like, really being cruel, checkpoints. Checkpoints are like yes. really good thing They make a difference. I mean, if yeah. I had to spawn all the way back, I think that the fan yeah. factor would actually lose on that on this yeah. game because it would be very punishing. Yeah, there, 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 I mean, awesome there are some people that have done that, made it kind of Dark Souls-y in the sense of like, you have to do it in one run kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and sure, that's its own thing, you know, but yeah, I think checkpoints in, in certain games make uh, a lot of sense, so. Oh, you caught up. Yeah. This is the hard part. It took me a while to work out, so I'm not going uh, yeah. like to go for it. Oh, um, yeah. I already know the pattern, unless magically it changes. So, so this is probably my feedback here. That there's, there's, there's a pattern that you have to do, uh, and, you know, if you don't do it, just you pull through it. But I think it would be really nice to sort of know about it somehow a little bit more. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, if it... If it um... I, I would also, like, if it randomized oh, every time, it would be cool, but... Yeah. Also, you can sort of uh, cheat it a little bit. Ooh. Whoa! What happened there? My game music got real loud for some reason. All right. Um. Points. Oh no! Oh no! I'm just gonna kill myself. Okay, good. Good, I'm back here. And there we go. Nice. Alright, perfect. And uh, I think maybe we've lost Edgar's. Uh, so we might have to... Uh, Oh, yeah, there we go. We have to uh, show on screen. There we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, yeah there was a... <laughs> you disconnected uh, for a second. Oh, there. you did this on purpose. I won. I won. <laughs> well, actually, I don't... Well, interestingly <laughs> enough, we both won for some oh, reason. you done it as well. Yeah, exactly. so I think it's just maybe a completion kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting that more than one person can actually uh, win it. Um, Wait, did you cross the finish line then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's cool that actually yeah. multiple people can win it. Yeah, because I think, like, you know, because it is so challenging uh, in and of itself that, um, you know, if someone sort of beat you to it, you still would like to sort of work on the level to try and this, get through it, you this, know. This game really reminds me of uh, Four Guys a lot, you know. Yeah. It's just like one of those games you just run and just try to avoid the challenges and yeah. beating, get to the level. And it's a good day to reward people that everyone that makes it to finish line, not just that one guy, so. Exactly, um, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I think um, one of the, uh, int and uh, like we've said before too, you know, again, another thing that you can improve upon and continuously uh, make variations of it, you know, different mm. obstacles and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, really cool. Uh, again, in the chat, Chroma Point by Skull Hunter. And uh, let's jump into the next one. So this is actually something that, <coughs> uh, so we can jump into it. I'm starting to lose my voice already. No oh. Rally, uh, Legends of Yaha. So we won't showcase this too much for the purpose of, we had this in our last stream as well because it was in uh, mm -hmm. another thing. Um, but uh, so basically I can like sort of go through it a, a little quicker because I know exactly what to do this time because we did get a little lost last time when we were doing this. Um, yeah. So yeah, Legends of uh, Yaha, um, this is a really nice little sort of forest game. Uh, they're actually, the only improvement that I would say that was the same sort of like from the last time was like maybe a little bit more guidance 
as to where to go for some of the things. Um, obviously, it tells us, you know, someone at the village asked me to send you, and we need to go over there and find out what's going on. Uh, and basically, there's soldiers in the woods that we need to be careful of. Yeah, so, so, so uh, like one way of doing this is uh, possibly putting some iconic buildings on the path so it acts like a beacon where you're going. Right, exactly, yeah, yeah. So like the village is a little easier because you can see it right away. Um, but when it comes to a little of the later stages of, you know, find the lake or find this, you know, maybe a little bit of guidance would be uh, a little bit um, a little bit better. But one of the things I want to point out, which I don't think we pointed out on the last stream, um, if we find a soldier real quick. So the game is quite, it's kind of quiet. And uh, if we... Peaceful. Yeah, nice and peaceful. But if we find a soldier over here, it should... So you can hear the music triggers oh, yeah. whenever you get into combat, um, which is a really cool indicator that you're in combat, you know? Um, it's, it was my first time, I think, actually seeing that happen in one of our games. So uh, that's a, it's a really, really cool thing uh, to have happen. Looks like it's a zone-based um, audio as well, though. A little bit, yeah. It triggers yeah. Uh, once uh, the so you get in a sort of proximity of the soldier and mm. then away we go kind of thing. But yeah, so that was one thing I don't think we, we talked about in the last time we, we streamed this game and talked about it, but really, really cool little addition. Um, so yeah, basically, like, uh, for the quest, you know, we would need to, uh, I think we lost you, you ventured oh, off yeah. into the forest, you're deep in there. Yeah. Um, I'm deep in there, fighting. Um, so yeah, to find, like, the other NPCs and stuff, you know, we, you have to wander a little bit, um, so like, like we said, the only thing that I would improve is like a little bit of guidance to show, hey, this is the direction you need to sort of go. It's a pretty um, huge world, isn't it? So a little yeah, bit, definitely, yeah, a little definitely bit. Definitely having the, a little bit of guidance will help. Yeah, um, especially when you get to the, the later uh, stages of, um, uh, like I said, finding the, I think we were trying to find one cart and we ended up lost <laughs> at one point trying to find who it was. Um, but yeah, uh, visually, you know, nicely designed level, however, quest system works great. Um, the music on the soldiers, like I said, really cool. And, um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, yeah, overall, it's pretty straightforward. Like sometimes like the, the simple games are, are the ones that are the most fun. Um, I also like the background image of the mountains, like on the skybox. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. one thing. Yeah, that's a good point because I, I think some people don't do that where they it just leave has it that blank. atmosphere yeah exactly it, it, it gives it a, that little extra touch you know so like yeah. if you have like a blank uh, background you know think about throwing something in there you know it can make a, a, a huge huge difference mm. uh to, to the visuals you know uh, and there are like a lot of sky boxes available in yeah like quite a lot so you should be able to find something that's you know suitable uh for your game and of course you know like we mentioned before, you can now create your own assets and you can actually upload your own assets to the store for yourself or for others to use. So if you want to create something that, you know, in case you can't find your own, you can do that now. So um, very, very important uh, thing to remember. But yeah, so like, uh, again, we won't continue too deep into the game because uh, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. can experience for themselves, you know, obviously yeah. the well for the next part of the quest and then it leads on to other things. Um, but yeah, really nice game. Like I said, the only improvement uh, I would recommend is maybe a little bit of a better guidance system to help with the quests and stuff like that. But um, overall, still pretty fun game. Uh, okay, next one. So, so this one's not going to take long to do. <laughs> uh, this is another game from uh, Armony, and it's really, I, I'm not entirely sure what the objective for it was so it's really difficult to sort of give some feedback on it okay um, let's see it i haven't actually seen it so okay what's, what's gonna happen um, let's see if uh so yeah I, I don't know if we'll end up in the same one because it's not really like a sort of multiplayer based okay. kind of one. Oh no yeah there you are so you can figure this out let's see if you can figure it out and i'll uh, drink some water instead oh okay so we have a oh well, that's a cool car right 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 Okay. Okay. I see. I see now what's happening here. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> well, at least I'm going around and around. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> so uh, so the uh, interesting thing is the quest says, like, reach and touch the one. Reach and touch the one. Yeah. Uh, it must be definitely this 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 thing that's sticking out of the ground. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Wow. One. Yeah, yeah I won one. the game by touching the one. <laughs> what should I say first? Uh, well. Yes, well, it's a good game. Okay, okay. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it, it is funny, yeah. so in some sense. <laughs> So yeah, like um, when I first played, I was like, "Am I missing something?" I'm like, "Oh no, it's actually just supposed to be funny," you know. Um, basically, find the one, which we did. the The only thing that I will say that is probably confusing to people is that when you do touch it, the quest doesn't update and it doesn't trigger like a sort of end yeah. game sort of process. So it can probably be a little confusing to people. Um, <laughs> so yeah, maybe just make that a little adjust adjustment, but. Uh, there's not much gameplay in here, let's be yeah. honest about it, but, you know, those first three minutes when you worked out and you actually read it, yeah. it, is, it is a little bit funny. So, yeah. you know, so good like, luck with that. And I, I like the fact that we'd done the exact same process. Like, i done the exact same. I went to the car first, then I went to the circular disc, and I still ended up at that one I am last. Just, I am just trying to understand the, <laughs> the, 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 the circular disc. Like, you know, actually, can you touch any item? Because I didn't try actually hitting the Ferrari. Oh, they had nothing, nothing happens. No, okay, no, yeah. But I just yeah, found so. it interesting that we both got attracted to the same item first. Like, I, I like some psychological <laughs> type thing that we were always going to go for the first thing last. It's, you know? it's a childhood thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, it it's like, I see round things, I got to jump on them. <laughs> okay, no, okay, cool. But yeah, um, but yeah mean, so yeah, that's it. got it. That's it, cool. Yep, <laughs> so great job, Harmony. Uh, <laughs> it is a nice meme game. Um, so... Let's jump into the next one. Um, Treasure Hunter. And this one is by Gui Rod. And, uh, and this is basically, we have two more games. We have this one and one more, and then we're into the winners. So if you're waiting for the winners, they're coming very, very soon. So be, be prepared. Um, so let's fire this one up, and uh, we're in. We're in. So... Uh, description is be the first to collect as much treasure as possible mm -hmm. so and we can have about the five uh, players and uh, okay here we go so I guess it's a, a battle uh, between us oh no oh, yeah, no. who gets oh, the goodness. things quicker did you drop in the water? Yeah, well, I, I was going to say you pushed me off, but sure, I dropped in the water. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> all right, oh no, can I, can I even get out? Maybe. Oh no. So this is one of the things, because I played this game a little bit before, this is one of the things that I realized. Oh. Actually, if you drop into the water, I have no idea how to get out of it. Oh, I don't know if you can. I might have to reload then. Oh no. You, you might need to reload, because uh, I, I tried, oh, no. and then I just like gave up. Oh, I okay, okay. Well, I'll reload real quick. That's it. I won the game automatically. Yeah, technically true. I think <laughs> if I leave, technically you will automatically win, I think. Unless they have fixed... Oh, yeah, okay. So you're still able to play. Um, I'm still playing. So essentially, obviously, as you go through the level, you, you yeah. get these treasures and you uh, um, just pick them up and you, you, you're trying to beat everybody else that's in the game. See, see now, like I said before, like I was gonna say you pushed me in, but then I was like, no, nah, maybe I just fell. But then since you did know that you can get out of the water, I'm inclined to believe that you did push me in knowing that. <laughs> maybe, I'm so... not gonna leave that line. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like uh, again, like it's, it's um, you know, nice little level, simple mechanic of, you know, just be the first to, you know, collect this. Uh, obviously it's going to be, there's less fun when you're uh, in it on your own. Um, so obviously it is something that you will want to, you know, play uh, with other people. Um, yeah, one of the things I probably feed back to this game is is that the pickups could be a little bit bigger. It's really still as hard to see, like yeah. on the ground in, in the forest area. Or like a brighter color, like a gold or like coin. Or a bright color yeah. or something like that really stands out. Yeah. Like, as you walk over and you, you get a sound trigger, but it's like, hmm, is, is yeah. it there? I don't know. Maybe that's like a, so one of the improvements that yeah. possibly could do for this game. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I do like that the chests are like kind of 
hidden a little bit in the oh, ground. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it feels like nice you know touch. there was a pirate that sort yeah. of picked them in there, and it feels kind of cool. Maybe yeah. even adding a couple of like pirate AIs, you know, in in here, mm, like, that's, you know, yeah. just so you avoid them, and you're actually trying to pick up these chests, trying to avoid them. Yeah, it's a great point. Yeah, you definitely could do that. They're protecting their treasure, right? Yeah. Caribbean that, style, so. that and of course, you know, uh, adjust the the land a little bit. So if you fall in the water, you can't get back in. That's true. That <laughs> is like game breaking mechanic yeah. right there. So yeah, so just like adjust like the the level of the <laughs> land a little bit and. Uh, you know, makes it so yeah there we go click 20 and you win but of course you know we played solo each so unfortunately i mean we both won technically let's get an idea amazing yeah so yeah fun little game uh, like i said just a couple improvements of you know fix the water thing you know make the coins a little brighter and uh you know some obstacles again uh to sort of avoid and get around um okay final one before we get into the winners mm. Excited. So here we go. So let's jump into the game, and it is called Rambo One by Zadoric. And uh, basically, the description is: win by finding your opponents, and be the only one left alive. The forest is full of danger. There are items to help you survive. So uh, I love survival games. Let's go. So yeah. So this one sounds like basically like the feedback we were kind of giving in the uh, the last one of you know add some dangerous stuff in there to uh to try and, and survive a little better so we just gotta wait okay yeah so it is kind of like a, a survival-y type game because we have not started in the same spot which mm -hmm. normally does happen so i like the fact that they spread the players out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i want to kill this ai though come come here come here to see what happens okay okay so yeah oh, so, I found the enemy yeah, yeah 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 we we spawned at the same spot so um and i like the fact that they have added the party system to the game so like create and join so you could technically you know team up and, and bully someone yeah I, I see something i see something walking in the woods oh i hope it's not me i'm trying to discover some other stuff <laughs> At the start of the sentence for every horror movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> see something walking in the woods. It's never good. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's me that you see. It must be the other NPC or... Walk soldier. Yep. Yeah, something something bad. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find anything that will help me be stronger or be... Yeah, I wonder if there's any power-ups. So... Yeah. It did mention that there are things that help us survive, so I'm curious as to what they will be. And it's, it's a it's a big size space like i would say like maybe yep. maybe like add the ability for more players uh because it is so big like i would say like maybe for this scale like eight people might be a, a better uh, a mic rather mm. than just four because it takes a while to like sort of run around um, i'd almost scale it down slightly because that if you're going to do sizes. smaller yeah 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 i okay, found more ai amazing yeah cool. so Okay, so there's actually like um, NPCs that you can kill or that attack you, yep, which you're fighting. Yep. Because I killed like a player NPC kind of thing, um, and that's so why the counter somewhere. went down to three. Well, yeah, this is a really big level. Yeah, it, either scale it down if if it's for four people or. I think I think. Hold on, I'm not sure. Like number is actually. Hold on. I think I need one more, but yeah, let's let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I'm confused. I can't find anything. <laughs> I wonder. They. Oh yeah, I see the last one. So. <gasps> oh, what's that? I think I got this. Oh. I think I got this. Oh, I'm stuck. I think there's a bug that I already killed four soldiers, okay. but my increment on the UI is actually not. Going yeah, down, I'm mine's, stuck on three out of four. Yeah, mine's still a three out of four. Yeah, I just killed. I yeah, did, I did kill four. Yeah, so like yeah. I said, I'm wondering if there's like uh, like AI that you can just kill for the Maybe. purpose of survival, but then it's against other players that you have to. Yeah. Plus, also the, the counter, yeah, the counter is thirty seconds already. Like. Yeah, it's quite tight for this such a large yeah. map, isn't it? Yeah. 
So maybe a little bit more game balancing for this game will be quite good. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, oh yeah. I'm definitely having a look at that um, counter. You know. Oh yeah. So how many zombies I kill. I did find. Oh. Uh, I did find like a like an HP uh, like a health uh, like a potion kind of thing. So. There is definitely items there that to help you sort of like, uh, you know, get healthy again if you're fighting or maybe there's some weapons as well, I don't know. But yeah, I would definitely say like scale the size of it down if you want it to only be four people and make the timer a little longer because it yep. wasn't, we didn't see each other at all there. Um, no. So just adjust the scale of things. Um, if you want to keep it that size, make it like, I think you can have up to like 60 people or something in a space. So, you know, you mm. can, you can go bigger but you have to adjust it with, um, you know, with the more players. But maybe half the size of the terrain. Otherwise, the concept's pretty good. Um, and visually, it, it looks like a nice little sort of survival foresty type thing. I like um, the music too, actually. You have the music. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, we have done all the other entries. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone that has entered to that. Now it's time that we do the top three and I know this is what everyone's been waiting for um, so let's uh, let's not delay any further let's jump into it um, and start things off with our third place winner so we just jump into this game and hopefully we end up together in the same one uh, now personally I actually really like this game oh no My first mountain. Yeah. Okay, so I wonder if... Um... Yeah, okay, so this is this is actually a bug that I'm actually going to change about. So I'm going to jump all the way down here and hopefully not die. <laughs> um, because this is one thing that I would give as a feedback to this. Um, because I had already played this game... I was at the final destination. Um, Me too. <laughs> yeah, so basically, like, you know, set, like, a, a the, the sort of respawn to go back to the start kind of thing uh, would be a good idea. Um, probably, I probably should have checked this before uh, <laughs> we started this, but... Um, so basically, the idea of this one is it's, it's a mountain climbing game. There's not much else to it, but visually, I, I find it really appealing. I think it's a really nicely designed game. Um, there is one sort of side quest that uh, some people might have missed or, or didn't do. Um, but I'm almost back at the start anyway. And uh, one, bit of, one bit of feedback, or well, another bit of feedback that I would give is that the water edge here, you know, you can like expand it a little further just so that it has like a nicer little nicer little visual to it, you know, to expand it out uh, further. But so you can see from here, uh, here's our mountain. I see you running. Are you high up somewhere? Uh, I'm actually in the water swimming. Oh, was that was that you? Okay, yeah, I saw someone go in the water, <laughs> and I was like, "What is that NPC doing?" Like, <laughs> I'm trying to get back to the start. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, basically this is where normally we, we would start. So we are here, yeah. uh, and you'll get a little quest, uh, which is here. Hey, what's up? I uh, like this ambience music as well. Very it's nice. So peaceful, yes. so nice. That's really um, out about that as well. So that paired up with the, the the visuals and the fact that it's just it's a little mountain climber. I think it's yeah. like it's like it's like um, what do you call it? Uh, Kojima's game, the walking simulator. It's like that, but without the monsters. You know, uh, Death Stranding. <laughs> you know, it's 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 like really important in game design. A lot of people tend to underestimate the power of the sound. You know? It really yeah. complements the games a lot. Yes. You know, if you if you really nail it with yep. with with the settings uh, and and the, the levels and the moods, yeah. it, it really adds that it sort really of feeling does. to the game. Yeah, and and like we mentioned in the last one too. Like if you look at the skybox here. It's super simple, but it's perfect for this, you know? It's just, everything comes together really well, which is what I like about this. And then, like I said, you know, the idea is just, you know, get to the top of the mountain. That's it, you go at your own pace, you know? Just climb and have fun. Now, I did mention that there was one side quest. Uh, I don't was, know, yes. uh, where you basically, there was a monster behind the, um, the mountain. 
I never found him actually. Oh, I can show you then if you want to. Uh, where? Uh, where uh, I'll jump so you can see me all the way over here. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Almost. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. So uh, basically, there was a monster, but I will say I couldn't kill it. So I basically never went back there. <laughs> um, Maybe that's the point, right? It could you be. You found a monster. Uh, that's your fate. Yeah. Because one of the, the quest giver, when the, you do speak to them, they're like, hey, don't go behind there because that monster is there. Of course, you know, I'm going to go behind there and check out the monster. But yep. maybe the advice is just like, it's it's dangerous. Don't go back there. Um, curiosity. You know, that's what I said. The curiosity kills. Exactly. So you would basically <laughs> get the quest from uh, this uh, scientist, the unknown creature. You know, don't go behind this mountain. Why? Something dangerous awaits. That's basically it, you know. Um, and then I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We go this way, I think it is. Yeah. So basically then, we, I find this creature, uh, but I couldn't kill it. So maybe that's the idea. You just don't... Uh, you just don't kill it. And... Uh, yeah, so it's over here, but we have to go between this gap to actually uh, find it. Wow, you actually walked that out from the first first go. That's amazing. And we should be able to see. Um... Yeah, there we go. There it is over here. So, uh, since the monster's over there, you can go first. Ha! Huh, that's how it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, what's really, like what's really, and you can just see it starting to appear on the edge of the screen there. That it's uh, not a, like I expected, like a yeti or something like that, you know? Because we're oh, there's your foe. Yeah, that's a neat touch. That's a neat touch. Yeah, so it's okay. not actually like I, I was expecting like a, a yeti or a bigfoot or something like that because of the where we are. But no, turns out it's a it's a UFO, and there's the monster which I don't want to go near. So it's, it's all you. Hey, you gotta distract him. Uh, we could try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or the other way around. Oh, well, okay. He is distracted. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, no, Wait. he turned on me. He turned on me. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and I'm dead. So, yeah, it's yeah. very strong. So, I think the idea is that we just can't, yeah, just ignore can't it. deal with that. It's oh. one thing if I would do something better for this is maybe add a little bit more ground details. Yeah, uh, that's what I would say. You know, little rocks, little pebbles, yeah. because you're in this mountain area. Uh, that possibly could actually improve slightly, yeah. slightly the game as well. Yeah, for, for, for sure. Overall, yeah. it's really really nice. Yeah, it's a real nice game. Like I said, obviously because we've completed. The, like I said, the, the main thing that I would change would be that uh, when you complete the game, the next time you play it, you know, you're back at the start because. We yep. keep teleporting to the top, but yeah, yep. basically, like I've jumped back down again so people can see real quick. Basically, we just the the proper way to play this is that we just start making our way around these different bases and we climb around the mountain and make our way up to the top. It's a really fun, nice, relaxing experience. If you're having a bad day, you know, or your stressful day, you're like, I just need something to do and chill. This you go is mountain a, climbing. You go mountain climbing. Yeah, exactly. Probably not in real life, but you go mountain climbing. So. I would definitely recommend this. You know, people just come in, chill, check it out. It's it's really fun, visually really nice, uh, and and you know, uh, like you said, you know, everything comes together well with the music, mm. the visuals, everything like that. So so great job. Uh, so congratulations to uh, Naomi, uh, my first mountain, our third place uh, winner for the first game jam. So congratulations, um, and now. We can jump into number two. And let's kick this one up and check it out. So I, I, I'll give a little guidance for this one um, because I think some people might get uh, a little confused. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we end up in the same one together. Have you managed to try this one? I be honest, I only had quick go at it yeah. for like two minutes. <laughs> so, oh, good, perfect, we're together. That's great. All right, so we have to wait for the countdown. Um, so this might seem very similar to a lot, uh, familiar to people. 
Uh, and this is our second place winner. This is congratulations to Vefro. It is the Yahahamon Arena Sports. Um, so let's go adventure. Yadoggy. So what's up, Yadoggy? Uh, basically, um, we have this wonderful little. Uh, this nice little town, um, which, like I said, might seem familiar to some people. There are a couple of extra little things in the game, like this cat on the skateboard that makes that noise for absolutely no reason. I need. So I'll, I, I, when I when I see this, it just speaks to me, Pokemon. A hundred percent, yes. That's yeah. I think that that's basically the inspiration as to where this came from. Um, <laughs> the there is a couple of twists to it. Um, so basically, um, the idea is that there's all these NPCs to speak to, but this uh, Yatrimon uh, gives us our first sort of quest um, where we basically need to find like three sort of sports items. And if you've touched them along the way, the door opens like such. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like... Now, the, the really interesting thing to point out about this is that all these assets, all the little characters, all the buildings are actually handcrafted they were made by Vefro. so these aren't yahaha assets uh she has taken the time to build this entire thing herself which is i, really I did not know that so yeah wow, that, that, that's really impressive yeah everything I, I imagine uh, a lot of hours went into this so i believe Vefro said uh like 80 plus hours has went into doing this so basically building everything in blender creating all these buildings this fantastic looking arena um and stuff like that and um oh no we've lost edgars again <laughs> hopefully he'll rejoin in a quick second so that now we know why my audio gets higher uh, so hopefully So yeah, hopefully he will rejoin shortly and we'll see what actually happens. Uh, but basically, like we said, like this 80 plus hours has been went into this. Um, the music's phenomenal, like the buildings are great. I really, really love the um, the arena itself is, is really cool. Um, but yeah, we can go explore. We kind of need... Uh, Yeah, uh, so uh, let's see if we can get him back into the uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> well, you guys are like really going ham with the games. And there we go. So as you joined, show on stream. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Joys of streams. There indeed, go. indeed. So yeah, like basically, uh, you didn't miss much. I'm still just hanging out here, and yeah. you're still in the game, which is perfect. So yeah, basically, just to go through everything, like, uh, like we said, you know, uh, 80 plus hours has went into this. You know, everything's been handcrafted. Um, the arena is really impressive, and um, the music is really cool as well. Now, what's really interesting is that when you mentioned about what this is familiar to, when we get into the actual arena, it kind of changes drastically because yeah. Ooh, I see that. we now have guns. Now, <laughs> do we? Yeah, there's guns at the start that you can pick up and actually fight. Uh, so, oh, wow, look at that. Now, the problem, the problem is, however, because I'm playing on PC, there is a little bit of an issue with that. Uh, Oh no. <laughs> okay, I did not realize I can actually kill you. <laughs> yeah, so so one of the problems with the, the PC thing is that the camera rotation is kind of bugged a little bit. So I can't rotate, so my shooting is kind of like limited to um, to straight. Uh, whereas on mobile though, if you're playing on mobile, it should work perfectly fine. Um, oh no, I fell through the arena now, so that's kind of not good. Uh, so I'll basically like rejoin real quick or actually no, we can switch to the camera and we can see I like the detail, even has a reload mechanic as well on the gun so yeah exactly yeah so like uh, so we can watch your camera for a little bit because it does work for you because you're playing on uh, mobile um, I'm, I'm actually on the PC oh really so I wonder why uh, mine isn't working then and then yours is because my camera rotation uh, does not work like the uh, hold right click uh, isn't working for some reason to turn camera so a little bit of a bug, but we can see on yours that it's working perfectly. Um, 
and Vapor says in the mobile version when I start I had no sound don't know why okay so another thing to, to check out but um let's see if we can actually uh I'm actually going to see if we can make you a little uh we'll make you a little bigger so that we can see your gameplay a little better might be a good idea um so transition there we go so that's a little better so we can actually see uh you playing through it and the the design is really well done like there's it's plenty of obstacles obviously the idea is to you know survive and you know kill each other to basically survive and become the winner so it drastically went from pokemon to a battle royale right away yeah it's uh, <laughs> really unexpected but really cool kind of because it's like combining two different uh sort of right. gameplay mechanics right there yeah. um i think one thing i noticed after shooting you maybe tweaking a little bit the damage of the bullets would be quite cool uh, instead of just killing like with a, a single shot, shot yeah maybe uh, maybe like two three shots and this way you know you got that time to dodge and yeah. avoid avoid some bullets bullets uh, like matrix style you know yeah and i think if there's like more people in the game as well you know maybe the yeah. one shot is fine but yeah if it's like a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing yeah and i but do I think... like that it's first five kills as well yeah is... and i think what what this also shows is is the implementation of the component system of actually using the weapons uh, yeah. you know which is really great yeah yeah we don't we haven't seen it too often uh, so no. far so yeah it's a great great uh, way to do that um but yeah basically there is uh, a lot of things to like about this the fact that it's all completely uh created from scratch uh, uh by vapor herself you know like we said 80 80 hours or so went into this which is really really impressive yeah. and uh you know the music's great the visuals are great uh there's um like we said the, the different style of mechanics uh, and the gun system and like i said Amazing all effort. the all the components in there to make it an actual obstacle course too so it's not just a sort of flat terrain of run around and shoot each other you know so um and i love the arena i will say the arena is my favorite part of it it's really really cool um so yeah so fantastic job vafro as always congratulations second place uh in the game jam for you and uh now we're going to be jumping into our final and first place winner and of course you know uh i think if you know the entries you know who this is going to be <laughs> so let's jump into it uh and click play and away we go uh so yeah congratulations uh to the one and only shamba c with their entry my first nightmare the first place prize uh for the yahaha first game jam so congratulations and let's jump into it and check it out i think what what's in order is a bit of applause for that there we go yes hey there we go nice <laughs> i like it signboards they're 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 uh there's something i should set up to oh, oh yeah this is creepy it. i'm already scared what is happening yeah <laughs> and i've just dropped yeah okay. so this is very unusual this is um so again something that you mentioned before in the mountain game you know the feel of a game is really important so yeah. the like everything that's going on in this game like the the sort of the tone of the lights the ambience the sound you know really makes this um and of course there's a little story to sort of follow on it but like even this like door the slow I opening of the, the door. Opening the door. That's creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. But I am yeah. stuck in a box, though. I don't know. I just dropped down and I'm stuck right now. So, uh, which box are you stuck in? I, I don't know. I, I joined. I dropped, and I can't like. Oh, I mean, maybe if you like rejoin, it might. Um, yeah, I'll try again. Yeah, it might uh, give you a different one, but it'll. Uh... But yeah, so I can like work my way through and, and see anyway. So like, uh, what am I grabbing here? Oh yeah, the light so yeah even like simple little things like the slow that the door opens and the creak that it makes you know really adds to the sort of you know the whole feel of uh the level come on door you gotta open up i, I gotta get out i gotta get out so yeah and a couple of mechanics that we've seen used before but is executed really well here is like this hallway uh, i'll wait for you to jump into the hallway so that you can actually see it uh, as well and uh this feels like resident evil style game a right little now. bit right yeah yeah 
So yeah, in this hall, in the next part then, of course, you know, we have the door that we came out of, we have uh, a sort of forward space that we can go to, and then, of course, uh, this door doesn't mean anything, so obviously, the next door should be... Uh, Wait, isn't this the same door I just walked in, and it actually changes the level? Yeah. How am I imagining this? Yeah, no, you're not tripping. It, it's, uh, yeah. It's trippy. Yeah. That's so cool. That's actually, like... You're almost just changing the level on top yeah. of it. So, uh, another thing that I uh, that I do like as well, you can't run in this game, so it adds to the suspense as well. Yeah, yeah you're right, you can't. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, there's like, um, there's some like... Those are pretty realistic blood effects. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there's been a lot of effort put into this, and uh, like, the details really... I have to try and survive this. Uh, I need to get the door. Oh, I can't. So, like, the door doesn't work, and I have to try and... But the interesting thing is... You know what? I'm curious what happens if I actually... Back... I go back for the level, or it's reset? Okay. Uh, so, I've now ended in the upside down. In upside down. Yeah, I'm in the upside down. Uh, nothing makes sense. Now, here's another mechanic that was added that I think is absolutely Okay, fantastic. this is creepy. Which one are you, are you okay? I did not expect the statues actually follow me. I was like, what is actually touching me? Yeah. So the... Um, so yeah, like the statue... And like, I love the fact that you go to the door and the door doesn't open. And then you, you panic and you're like, what do I do next? You know? Um... So yeah, so you're in the room now where there's a really interesting mechanic now. You basically walk over this like glow bluing uh, item and it's a hat that you put on, like a miner's hat. And it gives you a little directional light. It's like, so like a, to help you navigate through the darkness. Obviously you can see here, it's a little bogged if I jump, like it's not quite attached to the head, but you know, still really, really cool uh, component to add. And I'm going to see if I can remember the pattern here uh, of how to get through this maze part. Um, I like that they are actually infusing different mechanics, you know, from finding different paths. Yeah. Um, the maze. The tripping okay, feeling. Go. Okay, so I made it through the maze part at least. And, uh. <laughs> so. One well, thing. The toilet man is yeah, the actual boss. The boss. So I find this funny that when we were, like, judging the games, uh, Bugs uh, was judging him, and she put a note next to it, Toilet Man. And I hadn't played the game at this point. And I'm like, what is she talking about, Toilet Man? <laughs> I was like, it doesn't okay, make no, sense. And then as soon as I got here, I was like, oh. Toilet man, okay. So, <laughs> this character is just absolutely hysterical. Like, <laughs> it's is just this, so this customly made as well? I, I, I would expect so, yeah. Um, I, if this is part of our asset store, I'm amazed. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is custom made. It must be custom made. It's fantastic, so it is. Um, and of course, you know, I once just you love his face expression as well. It's it so just, good. Like makes you trip. <laughs> it's like, oh it's my so God. good, yeah. So, I mean, you know, of course, you know, once you do defeat the Toilet Man, that is victory. But overall, like the game is absolutely fantastic. You know, like the, the whole feeling of the game, the puzzles that you have to work your way through, uh, you know, even just like the the simple little things of like picking up the, the helmet with the light on it to guide your way through um they, absolutely they, they, they really put a lot of uh, effort in lights in the mood in the sound absolutely in, yeah in, in the actual uh level design so yeah uh, i i had never seen like rooms actually changing just felt like i'm playing some sort of film yeah. you know <laughs> and and it's what's interesting as well is like this is one of those games where we talked about in one of the games previously about guidance uh 
This one, there's like sort of no story and there's no guidance yeah. system, but it's simple enough to the point that you're going to figure it out, you know? Like you're yeah. not going to get lost or anything. That's but it's also linear. complex as well. It's like exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's it's really, really well designed. Um, highly recommend that everyone goes to check that out, you know, and give it uh, some comments and likes uh, on the, the launcher and stuff as well. Um, that was my first nightmare by Shamba C. So congratulations on your first place uh, win. Uh, well in done. the Yahaha first game jam. Um, really absolutely phenomenal. But not just that, like all the all the entries that we had in, absolutely fantastic. You know, to all the 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 third place, second place, first place, congratulations. Uh, well deserved. And of course, you know, thank you to everyone that did enter into the game jam. It was our first game jam. Uh, you know, uh, maybe there will be more in the future. That's something to keep Definitely. an eye out for. Definitely. And uh, you know, uh so if you missed out this time, don't panic. And of course, you know, uh, there is plenty of time to enter into all our other events as well. You know, we just finished a uh, sports uh, event that finished today. We're going to be having the live stream for that on Friday uh, mm -hmm. with the return of Bugs. Uh, so if everyone's missing Bugs, you'll be able to hang out with her on Friday uh, and see if she is as bad at sports games as she is at platformers. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had fun. Uh, this was a blast. I had tons of fun. Yeah. And um, so, of course, you know, we will see everyone on the Friday. Uh, we will be doing the sports thing where we play the games again and like the winners and half reveal the next event for December uh, as well. And, of course, at some point, uh, we'll be back together doing some kind of stream or content or whatever. So it's not the last you've seen of Zoltron either. Can't so, wait. Uh, yeah. It's going to be great. For sure. And um, thanks to everyone who's been in the chat for today as well. It's been great having you here chatting and interacting and stuff as well. And uh, that's going to be it. Any final wo last words? No, 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 nothing to say. A lot of, you know, everybody did an amazing job. Really, really well done. And it looks fantastic. You made my Wednesday. So, uh, and, you know, definitely go and check out those games yourself, guys. Yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, and play them and have some fun. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be it. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we will see everyone else on Friday. Until then. Have fun. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye.